So there's yet one more way to replace clips, and that's to replace from the bin. So I've, I've modified the sequence here a little bit. Uh, Diageo, uh, who re which recently bought Meta Brewery, is working with a very large cooperative union. So let's say we like this interview, but we don't like this B-roll shot. We don't think that this is selling the idea of a brewery clear enough. We want to get a different shot. Well, in my bin over here, I happen to know that if I select this clip here, this clip is another shot of the bin. If I was in icon view, we could quickly see that. Let's just select it there. So we see there's the clip. And we don't even need to open it into the viewer, into the source monitor. I'm just going to now go back to my timeline, select the clip and say clip. Replace with clip from bin, and it's going to substitute the clip in the bin for the clip in the sequence. Uh, Diageo, uh, who re which recently bought Meta Brewery, is working with a very large cooperative union. So you see, it used the exact same duration of the clip that was previously in the sequence, and it started with the whatever endpoint was set in the clip. If I open this up, right now there's no endpoint set at all, so it started right at the beginning. If I had gone in there and I had set a manual endpoint, like maybe right where this bottle sticks out there, we'll go right before there. So right, that'll be my endpoint, right? And I'll do the same thing again. So uh, I'll select the clip in the timeline, and the clip is selected in the bin. Replace with clip from bin, and it's going to substitute it in, and now it's going to start uh, right at that frame that I just indicated. So you see that little bottle sticking out there. So, you know, it uses whatever endpoint happens to be set. In this case, the clip was already open in the source viewer, but it doesn't have to be. So you can, you know, go through your clips and mark the in and outs of the places you like, and then later use them by editing them into your sequence directly from the bin without having to open them back up into the source monitor. So if you have more than one item selected in the source monitor, I'm sorry, in the bin, so if I had a couple clips selected here at the same time, and I went over here to my sequence and I said clip, replace with clip, from bin would be dim. See, so you can't do it if there's more than one object selected at a time, or if there's, of course, nothing selected. If there's nothing selected at all, same idea. You'll go to the menu, and it, that same menu item will be unavailable because there's nothing selected. So in order to make this work, you have to make sure there is some clip selected in the bin. And again, the, the it will use the duration of the clip currently in the timeline, and it will start it at whatever the frame, the, the in point frame is of that clip in the bin.